Hello. Welcome to Yoga with Joanne and Donna over here, my friend Kemperman. We're going to be doing a basic yoga class. So anyone who's new to yoga or anyone who's coming back to yoga, this is a really good class to begin with. We're going to start with some breathing. So come to a comfortable seated position on your mat and relax all the muscles in your face and bring awareness to your belly. You can close your eyes here, relaxing your hands down on your legs. Your sits bones are rooted on the mat, your shoulders are up, back and down, and the, the ears are in line with your shoulders. You're gonna seal off the lips and just breathe through the nose if you can. If that's uncomfortable, you can breathe however you like. But the focus is the lower belly. So we're going to take a deep breath in through the nose. Filling the belly with breath until you can't squeeze any more breath in. And then you're going to exhale. Nice and slow. We're going to do that again. Inhale, breathing into that low belly space, filling the belly with breath. Deep breath in and exhale. And now we're going to take one hand, bring it to the lower belly. You can take the other hand and bring it to your chest wall, right on top. Good. I'm going to take a deep breath in. We're going to fill the belly with breath all the way so we can't Take another sip of breath in and try to fill that whole belly all the way up to the clavicle bones. And we can do this for a count of four or five. So deep breath in. Exhale out from the top to the bottom. Again, we're going to deep breath in from the lower belly all the way up to the clavicle bones. Deep breathing in. Exhale it out. And now we're just going to breathe. Body's relaxing. Try to clear all thoughts from your mind, just focusing on the breath. And when we start to take some movement, we're going to link the breath to the movement, focusing on our form, of course. All right, we're going to take our hands together at heart center, and right here, you're going to press your thumbs right into your sternum. Relax your elbows down. And take this time to set an intention for your practice, whatever it is. It could be for yourself or for another. You're going to take a deep breath in, close your eyes, and set your intention now. On the exhale, you can bow out, bow down right over your fingertips. Gently seal your intention. When you're ready, lift the gaze, flutter the eyes open. Keep a soft, gentle posture on the face. Don't hold tension anywhere. We're going to bring our hands down to the side. Inhale, lift the hands, tap the palms together at the top. Exhale, push the air away. We'll do that three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the hands down. One more time. Inhale, we rise. Exhale, lower. Leaving one hand on the mat, we're going to inhale the opposite palm up and then gently lean over, stretching the ribs long, keeping the body in one straight line, not dumping into or lowering the head down loosely, just keeping nice form here. Inhale, we rise. Switch and exhale it over. Inhale, rise. 
exhale over and one more on each side inhale up exhale over and again on this side staying right here we're going to turn and look toward the opposite side of the room bringing our arm across our body stretching in a different way a little deeper inhale coming up open that arm all the way out so you can't go anymore and then sweep it across your body exhale inhale open exhale sweep inhale open exhale sweep hold inhale rotate that arm back overhead lifting all the way up on the exhale lift the other arm up take a deep breath in exhale over rotate your torso to the opposite side wall stretching feeling that nice deep sensation of a little bit of pulling across that rib cage inhale open exhale squeeze inhale open exhale squeeze one more and rotate that arm back up inhale lift inhale both arms rise flip the palms forward forward fold right here keeping the sits bones rooted on the mat just lean forward right here don't drop the head down looking straight across the room the crown of the head is shooting across the room feel that deep stretch from the lower back all the way to the fingertips hollowing out that arm the armpits reaching a little longer with each hand deep breathing here we're going to take this to a little flow keeping the sits bones rooted on the mat we're going to inhale from the core lift up exhale float the hands around fingertips point toward the glutes bend the elbows a little lean back push the chest out straighten the arms a little lean back with that head inhale bend the elbows exhale push off the hands lift up Take a deep breath in here, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep the arms around. Bring the hands to face your glutes. Press back, bend the elbows, lift the chest. Let the head gently fall back. Take a deep breath in, bend the elbows, push off those hands to rise. Lift the arms right here one more time, forward fold right over those legs. And we can take a little rock here, gently lean to one side and then the other. Nice big juicy stretch for that low back. Don't drop the head, keeping that chin away from the chest. The crown of the head shoots across the room and breathe gentle movements here nothing crazy we're going to bend the elbows and then gently lift using your core big arm circles here three two one bring the hands down we're going to take our hands right below our knees and gently rock around opening up the waist lean back you can start small and gently make it bigger gradually adding your shoulders into that movement you can lift and lower the knees or lean back really opening up the whole body here three more last one in this direction and then we're going to go the other way just take it around start small use your breath two more last one and then come right back to center nice and tall we're going to bring our feet right out in front of us so I'm going to turn so that you can see my feet <laughs> nice and long on the mat and you can turn too Donna so your feet are protected on that mat protect your heels 
We're going to sit up into a staff pose here. Lift the arms and forward fold. Reach wherever you have that nice juicy stretch. Use your breath here. The crown of the head is still shooting across the room. With each exhale, you get a little lower. So inhale, come out of the pose a little. Exhale, get a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, and one more. Good, coming all the way up. We're going to take a little twist, so we're going to cross one leg. We'll bring it up and cross it over. Now this could be it. You can stay here or you can take that heel to the glute. Either way works. So you're going to take the deepest expression. I'm going to take the lightest expression. So making sure your hips bones stay rooted, you're going to lift up, stretch long, and then we're going to hug. So taking uh -huh. Taking that outside hand, so if you're right over left, you're going to hug around with your right hand to your thigh. Nope, wrong, sorry. Opposite hand, hug. And bring that opposite hand behind you, that tall hand comes up against you like a kickstand, hugging deep, twisting from the waist first till you can't go anymore. And the last thing is looking over that back shoulder. So turn your gaze right behind you, deep breathing in and out. And now we're going to rise up with those arms. Keeping the seated twist, we're going to do a counter pose. So turning to the opposite side now, bring your hands wide, coming down on the floor with those hands. Now everyone's in a different space. You may, your hip may come up with this. That's okay. You just want to feel that nice, deep, juicy stretch in the rib cage. So bowing down, you may lift up a little. That's okay. Bring the elbows wide, coming down, chin towards the floor. Crown of the head shooting down towards the opposite wall <laughs> and breathe. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, we rise. You can make it fancy. Bring that arm nice and long around. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to uncross right there and shake it out. Pump those legs. Get that blood flowing back in. Okay, now we're going to do the other side. So, bring it over. And I always have to check myself. <laughs> Lift up. If you can't laugh at yourself. Yep. You're going to squeeze. So squeeze around. Hug that leg. Bring the other arm up against you like a kickstand. Beautiful, Donna. And if you can't hug all the way, that's okay. Grab wherever you can. You can hold on to that chin. Beautiful. And twist from that waist till you can't go anymore, making sure your sits bones are rooted. That's beautiful. Tucking the heel into the glute if you have the fullest expression of the pose. And the last thing to do is look over that back shoulder. Take some deep breaths here. The spinal twist is so good for so many things. It rings out the intestines. It's good for digestion, elimination, lymphatic flow enhancing your immunity. One more deep breath in. On the exhale, we're going to sweep it back with that arm, bring it around. We're going to lift up right at center, turn, twist to the other side, counter pose. Bring your hands wide, that hip's going to come up. You'll see my hip come up a little, bend the elbows, bring the chin toward the floor. The crown of the head shoots across the room. Inhale. On the exhale, we bring it up. Bring that arm around and uncross your legs. Very carefully come out of that pose and pump some fresh blood right into your legs. Good. We're going to squeeze up one leg 
Bend that knee into the chest. I don't care which one you do first. And we'll hold it right here. So bringing that foot as close as you can get it to your body. The other foot is nice and long, keeping some tension in that foot. Beautiful. Shoulders are down, crown of the head is lifted. Breathe deep here. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. And then bring that foot out. And I say, don't hold tension in the face, but the tendency is for me to smile. Sorry. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> and we're going to bring that other foot in. I can't help it. Always go to that. Trying not to smile. Mm, it's very hard for me. Let's bring that foot in. Flex the other foot long. Bring your body in. It is hard, right? Yoga makes me happy. <laughs> Deep breath in, exhale it out. And we're going to release that. Bring that foot out. Little pumps here. Three, two, one. Right here, we're going to flex. You know what? I wrote down a whole class and I just threw it out the window. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Point and flex right here. Point, flex. Point, flex, one more, point and flex. Hold it here. We're going to windshield wiper to the right and to the left. I just want you to be mindful of your posture. I want you to sit up, engage the core here a little so that you're not slumping down like this. You want this nice posture. Just keep that good. Three, two, one, and four. Come back to your staff pose. One more time, we rise up those arms. And just like in Pilates, we're going to bring that imaginary beach ball over your feet, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then if you want, you can hug the arches here. And if you have plantar fasciitis or inflammation of the muscles in the bottom of your feet that make it really tight and painful, you can hook your fingers inside your toes you can do this this is a yoga this is a yoga exercise while you're down here you can pull back on your feet lacing your fingers between your toes to really stretch out that plantar fascia wow. yeah. yeah and deep breathe don't forget that breath beautiful breath breath of life One more deep breath in and let it go. We're going to let the feet go. We're going to stay here for a second. Just push down, stretching your feet in another way. So you're going to feel the lower legs light up as you get really long here. And push down on your toes now. Feel the muscles stretch in a different way. Now, if this becomes too much, back out of it. This can be a very deep stretch for people with a circulation problem or a lower back injury. So you know your limits. So any, if anything doesn't feel good, come on out of it. One more deep breath in. Exhale, slide it back, release the tension in your legs, windshield wiper. Bring your knees around to tabletop position. Little cat and cow here. So separate the knees about two fifths width apart Separate the fingers wide. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Your knees are going to be under your hips. And you're going to have the weight in the fleshy part of the hand or the area called the thenar eminence. This part of your hand. So we're going to start by making sure we're nice and in alignment. The shoulders are away from the ears. And the eyes of your elbow are going to face forward. So just rotate till the eye of the arm looks out. Yep. And now we're going to curl the toes under, drop the belly, and look up. But don't hyperextend that neck. I don't want you to come all the way back here. It's very painful if you do that. You're going to feel a nice juicy stretch in that lower back here. Now flatten the tops of your feet. One, two. 
and lift the spine. Looking at that belly button space, take a deep breath in. On the exhale, curl the toes, drop the belly, widen the sits bones, gaze out. Now the focus is to imagine the bones in your sits bone area or your glutes, your gluteus area or your booty. Imagine they're pressing towards the back wall. You're separating those bones in your sits bones area. All right, now we're gonna flatten the feet. Lift that spine, hollow out the armpits here. Really pressing through the fleshy part of the hand. And I want you to imagine like you're opening up a pickle jar, rotating into that fleshy part of your hand. Take a deep breath in, exhale, neutral back. Now we're going to look over our shoulder. So I'm looking over my left shoulder and I'm gonna lean my right hip down to my heel. Same heel as my hip. Take a deep breath in, exhale, one more. On the next exhale, come back to center. Look over the opposite shoulder and lean that hip toward the heel. And if you hear a crack or a creak, you're waking up that body. Inhale, lift. We'll do that a little quicker. Exhale, look and lean. I'm peeking at you, Donna. Yeah. Good. Inhale, lift. Looking good. <laughs> Exhale, look over the other side. Oh, you are looking good. Yeah. Inhale up, exhale over. And right back to center, good. Now curl the toes and just lift the knees and hover right here. So the weight's coming onto those wrists a little, spread the fingers wide. Good, and now we're gonna straighten the legs and come into your first down dog. Now let's check our down dog. We're going to pedal here for a couple of beats, but let's see if we're in good alignment. So let's rock into a plank. Oh, right here I know I have to wiggle out my feet. My down dog was too short. So wrists are under shoulders. Ready? We're going to push back, down dog. Good. There's your dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more. And now we're going to come into a child's pose. Bend the knees, flatten the feet, try to sink your sits bones to your heel. So push down and back. Okay, this is an extended seal or an extended child's pose. We're going to reach around right and left and grab for the heels. Bring your forehead to the mat. Try to sink your sits bones toward your heels. Take deep breaths in and out. Don't force it. If it doesn't go, that's okay. You can always, I'm breaking pose so I can show you. We have a yoga block here or a folded towel in four. So it's nice and about as high as this block. And you could take it right under here if that's, if you need that extra support. If you can't come all the way down, you rest it right under your bum and you reach for your heels and your, your body can rest on that block. All right, take one more deep breath in. And then we're gonna walk our hands forward, nice and long. Lift up into tabletop. Walk your hands out, maybe one hand breath. Curl the toes, lift the knees, straighten the legs, and pedal out your dog right here. Good, now lift your heels, both heels lift. Nice big stretch, deep breath in. We're gonna drop the heels over to the right and take a knee bend, stretching your side body. Take a deep breath in, exhale, one more. Lift the heels right to center and then deep breath in, exhale over to the left. Drop the heels down, bend the knees. 
Get low, feel a deep stretch in the ribs. Inhale up and flatten the feet. And now we're gonna walk our hands to meet our feet. Walk it back. Right here, we're gonna hang and rag doll. Gently rock and sway. Little bend to the knees, release the arms. We're gonna reverse swan dive, so take your hands out to the side, lifting from the core, good. Inhale, lift up, press the hands together at the top. We're gonna make the hands face forward. Little bend to the knees, lean back and lift. We can exhale, forward fold all the way down to the floor. Now we're gonna slide our hands up our shins for a flat back, gaze out. Crown of the head shoots across the room. Pressing back with our legs and our sits bones. Feeling a nice deep stretch up the back part of our legs. Maybe the lower back. Yep, now we're gonna slide down. Inhale, reverse one out to the side and lift. Hands come together and down to heart center. Inhale, lift. Separate the hands, bend the knees a little, little back bend. Inhale, lift and forward fold. Good. Inhale, slide the hands up the shins. If your shins are, if your legs are really tight, you can slide your hands to your thighs. Bring your elbows together. Pushing back, same thing, just pushing back with your legs and your and your glutes and breathe, breathe deep. One more deep breath in, exhale, slide it down. Reverse one out to the side, lift up. Hands to heart center, inhale, lift. Separate the palms, lean back. Last one, forward fold. Slide it up, flat back. Pressing back, good. Looking, the crown of the head is shooting across the room. The legs are straight but not locked. The toes are forward. And slide it down. Inhale all the way up. And we're gonna take a mountain pose. So separate the feet about two fists width apart and bring your hands out. Spread the fingers wide and just breathe. You can close your eyes here if you feel safe. Close your eyes. You may feel a gentle rock and sway and that's okay. That's your body balancing itself out or becoming aware of its surroundings with your eyes closed. The hands are a little bit away from the body. You're pulling down. The shoulders are away from the ears. Your face is relaxed. You're breathing. And we're going to inhale the arms up. And forward fold one more time. Right here, we're gonna walk our hands out to a plank. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, good. Push back into down dog, woo. We're gonna inhale, lift one leg high into the sky for three-legged dog. Hips are square to the mat, toes are, are flexing. The heel is pushing out to that back wall. It doesn't have to be very high. It just has to be lifted and square. I want you to feel the energy running through your leg. And release that down to the floor. Take a deep breath in on the next breath in. We're going to lift the opposite leg high into the sky for your three-legged dog. Pushing out the heel to that back wall. Nice long leg, lifting the muscle off of the knee, that thigh muscle. Take a deep breath in, exhale, lower it down. Bend the knees, flatten the feet, coming back into your child's pose. 
Right here, you can rock and sway. Let it go, let all the tension go. Then bring your hands forward, coming up, curl the toes, straighten the legs. We're gonna take it to a warrior one. We're gonna come up into three-legged dog, take and bend and round up, knee to the nose, and then let that foot come to the inside of the right hand, stepping up. Good. Now we're gonna take a 45 degree angle with that back foot. So I'm gonna wiggle my foot into alignment here because I didn't step 100% into the right place. So separate your toes. The heel is bisecting the back foot. And now we're gonna come up nice and strong. Hips are square. We're gonna inhale, rise up. Either walk your hands to your thigh or rise up here. Good, nice deep knee bend. Good, hips are square. Now, my hip is pushing out to the side. So I'm gonna straighten it down. Donna looks good. So if you have scoliosis or sacroiliac joint dysfunction or something of that nature, you may not be able to get that hip down. And that's okay. You come to the deepest expression of your pose, your edge where you feel the deepest sensation. And breathe. <laughs> Don't hold tension in that belly, let it go. Shoulders are down, crown of the head is lifted to the sky. Deep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. We're gonna transition right here, coming into two. Just open the arms out to the side, one arm forward, one arm back. As if, if I were to take a marble and run it through my middle finger, imagine my mouth was a tunnel, right? to that back middle finger, it would go in one straight line. So keep those arms nice and lifted and parallel. And we're opening up the chest to the side wall. We're gonna take a little vinyasa flow here. Okay, we're gonna lift the arms and face forward with that chest, straighten the leg. Exhale, bend, go surfing. Inhale, lift. Exhale, surf. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend, hold. Right here, we're gonna drop the back arm, flip the front palm, come up, peaceful warrior. And these are new mats, so I'm sliding all over this thing. You can't see it though. But if they're new, they're, you gotta work it up to get it to be nice and sticky on your feet. Hold and breathe right here for four, three, two, bring it back. Now we're gonna flip the palm, bring the hands here, bend the elbow, so this is a side angle. Lift up, nice and long here. Take a deep breath in, exhale, come over. Good, deep breath in, exhale, back to warrior two. We're gonna to transition to the other side. So we're gonna flip this toe forward, straighten the leg, Oh, lift up here. Fancy, fancy, ready? The toes on this foot are gonna come forward. We're gonna bend into that warrior one. So 45 degree angle, heel to arch alignment, bend in the knee, hips are square. Try to get them as square as you can. Pushing back and pushing forward. Right hip is pushing forward, left hip is pushing back. Sink. Imagine you're squeezing your inner thighs toward one another. Keep the palms nice and tall, shoulders away from the ears, breathe. Now transition to two. Just make that back foot a 90 degree angle, open up in T. Chest is facing forward now, or in one straight line with those arms. Hold it here, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe deep. Gaze over that front middle finger. How you doing there, Donna? We look like bookends. <laughs> you look great. All right. Imagine you're leaning back on an imaginary wall, right? So you're, you're nice and long. Ready, take that vinyasa flow with me. Inhale, straighten that front leg. Face forward, hands together. Exhale, surf. 
Inhale, squeeze those thighs together, straighten the leg. Exhale, surf. One more. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, surf. Hold, drop the back arm, flip the front palm. Humble or peaceful warrior. Humble warrior, something else. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Transition back to two. Now we're going to bend that elbow. Coming down here, just resting. I'm not really dumping my weight here. I'm just resting my elbow here. Inhale, lift up, stretch the ribs. And then if you want a little more, come on over. Bringing that bicep by your ear. Crown of the head is shooting across the room. Hold and breathe. And come on up to two. Inhale. We're going to flip the toes forward on that front foot and lift up right here. All right. Bring the hands out in T. We can rotate, tap an ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap an ankle. Inhale, lift. Oh, it's a Pilates and yoga. All right, one more each side. And one more. And lift. All right. We're going to step it together. Bring it down. Face the front of your mat. We're going to close it out here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, nice and strong forward fold. Lifting the sits bones to the sky. Let your head be heavy. You can, right here, we'll just bend and extend the knee for four, three, two, one. Bend both knees. Coming down, walk your hands out. Bring your knees to the mat, bring your feet around. Coming to the floor. Yeesh, it flies when you're having fun, holy. We're going to rock it back, coming into our Shavasana now, folks. Ah, this is the end pose, the hardest pose of all, Shavasana, resting pose. You're going to take your hands away from your sides, let your feet splay out to the side. My hands are about two or three feet away from my body. You're going to have a gentle curl to the fingers. And this is the hardest pose of all because you're going to let all thoughts go. And you're going to close your eyes, relaxing the facial muscles. And breathe. And if a thought comes into the mind, you honor it and let it go. And start to wiggle fingers and toes coming back into the body. Take your arms overhead long for a nice good morning stretch. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands down to your sides. Keep your eyes closed. Bend your knees. Flatten your feet. Coming on over to right or left side, whichever side feels good to you, into fetal pose. Bend your knees, curling up into a little ball, resting your head on your arm. Take a scan of the body. Notice how you're feeling, how you felt before class, and how you feel now. And take this time to thank yourself for honoring your body and taking this time for you. Being good and kind to yourself, Feeding yourself with good energy, good prana or chi or ki. Gently pushing up with that hand, balancing hand. Keeping the eyes closed for just a minute longer. Come to a seated position with your legs crossed. 
Nice tall spine here. Take your hands to heart center. Press your thumbs into your sternum. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Ha. Take another deep breath in and sigh it out. Ha. And if you'd like to join me for the sound of Om, take a deep breath in. Um, and Namaste. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And may you have a blessful, blessed, peaceful, joyful day. Until we meet again, Namaste.